My name is PJ McClure. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and personal coach to business owners around the world. I'm also the founder of a company called The Mindset Maven. And in this video today, I'd like to take just a couple of quick minutes and share with you how you can develop a growth mindset as opposed to a fixed mindset. Now very quickly, what's the difference between a growth mindset and a fixed mindset? Uh, Professor Carol Dweck, uh, who is currently at Stanford right now, wrote a great book called Mindset. And she went through some of the distinctions between growth and fixed and really articulated it in a very nice way. In essence, a growth mindset is somebody that feels like that they can go out and they can accomplish new things. They can grow. They can, they can turn into a different person than what they are now. In other words, they feel like they have greater capacity and ability to go out and really make things happen in the world. A fixed mindset is a kind of person that thinks, well, you know, I've just got to play the hand I was dealt. There's really not much else I can do about this life. That's really the difference between the two. Fixed mindset, those are the kind of people, I've spent a lot of time there myself. Fixed mindset is you're trying to manage successes and failures. Okay, Success is the only outcome that's acceptable and you're just trying to avoid failure as opposed to a growth mindset where they see results okay you go through something happens it's a result whether it was the result you wanted or the result you didn't want it's a result you look at it you learn from it and then you go on and try to be better next time regardless of what happened those are the differences between the two and what I want to give you right now are seven things that you can use to be able to go in and really develop a growth mindset Now these seven things are things that I've discovered. I didn't make them up, okay? They're, they're just truth, they're out there. Nobody owns them, but I just so happened to discover them and put them together in my 14 plus years of research of trying to determine what actually made up our mindset. What is this thing about mindset and what makes it? And then Professor Dweck created even greater clarity for me by showing us growth and fixed mindset. And the seven things I wanna share with you are what I refer to as the seven elements of personal choice. Now you've heard of all of these before, I guarantee it. The thing that you may not have heard before is how all seven of them fit together to form your mindset and to create the success in your life. Now the first one that I want to share with you is awareness. Awareness is that thing that helps us to understand where we are. It's also the thing that helps us see what's going on around us and make course corrections for what is maybe not going right. It also helps us look at the result, determine what was good, bad, and different and then how we can take it and use it to plan going forward. Awareness is crucial to being able to develop a strong, steady mindset and to be able to take your success track on an upward plane. Number two is vision. Now vision is very common. I don't have to take a lot of time to explain it, but the basic question that I ask people that I like for them to answer to get us started along the vision line is what do you want your life to look like? Since I coach business owners, I have a lot of people want to come to me and just talk about their business. Or I'll have a, a C-level executive come in and say, I just want to talk about how to grow my career and how to grow the business with it. What we have to look at is your overall life. Because if the business that you grow doesn't fit within the scope of what you want your life to look like, you're going to get top heavy and things aren't going to work out for you. That's a lot of really miserable, rich people in the world. It's not the money that made them miserable. It's the fact that they didn't pay attention to what it was they wanted their life to look like, and they let this business grow independent of their life, kind of like they were in two separate silos, but you can't separate them. You gotta have all of your life together, and that's where we start. Vision, what do you want your life to look like? Number three is purpose. Now purpose is an amazing thing. Purpose is your why, okay? If I understand my awareness, where I'm at, and my vision, where I wanna go, my purpose is how I travel. It's the reason that I'm doing it. And it's incredibly important because it's what also provides your motivation long term. It's the thing that motivates you from the inside. The question to ask yourself, if this is my vision and this is where I want to go and what I want my life to look like, why do I want it to look that way? Just answering that question by itself can change how you do things on a daily basis for the rest of your life. Number four is action. Now, action is probably the most obvious of the seven elements because without action, nothing happens. Now there are four different kinds of action that work out on a matrix that I explain to my clients and I explain in one of my books, Flip the Switch. But the bottom line with action is, if I know where I'm at and where I wanna go and why I wanna go there, the next obvious thing to do is understand what actions are necessary to get from here to there. 
When I know those actions and I lay them out, I can attack them and make things happen on my terms. The next area is belief. Now, of the seven elements of personal choice, belief is the one that's probably the most responsible for procrastination, depression, all of these other things that we see getting treated with all kinds of tactics and pills and everything else. When the bottom line is, people just need to understand where their level of belief is. If I'm standing at the foot of a mountain, looking at the top of the mountain as my goal, and I've never climbed a mountain before, I probably don't believe that I can reach that. But if I bring my focus down and I find the area where I do believe, I ask myself, do I believe I can accomplish this step? Whenever I find that I re run out of yeses, whenever I reach a point where I'm going, eh, I don't know if I can accomplish it or not, that's where I need to draw my line and I need to focus right below that so that I can get moving and I can start accumulating some wins and get closer to my goal using the belief I already have. The next one is forgiveness. Now forgiveness is one that goes under the radar a lot of different times, but it's also something that hamstrings so many people in pursuing their goals, pursuing success in life. Forgiveness comes into play whenever we have issues from our past. It doesn't even have to be our distant past where we've been hurt or we hold a resentment against somebody or we even hold a resentment or a guilt against ourselves. We have to be able to engage forgiveness, to completely let it go, not just bypass the issue, completely let it go, deal with it face on and accept it into who we are so that we can take it and use its energy to pursue more and more things. The final one I want to put on there for the seven elements of personal choice is gratitude. Now gratitude is talked about a lot and it's something that is just an amazing force. The biggest thing about gratitude that I want you to understand right now is that it creates capacity for you to do more and more in your life. Because in our minds, a lot of times we think, if I'm setting a goal of something out here that I want to achieve, that must mean that I'm not happy with the life that I have right now. And that's not necessarily always the case. Okay? What we have to do in the life that we have right now is understand what do we have now, right here at our feet, that is representative of the life that we want to achieve. And when we embrace even those smaller, lesser representatives of the life that we want to achieve, it allows us to expand and to be able to grow so that we can take on more things long term. Now those are the seven elements of personal choice and how they make up your mindset and how that in turn can help you develop a growth mindset. And if you'd like more about that, you can get a whole lot more of that in my book, Flip the Switch. It's a bestseller that I'd like to give you a copy of for free. All you have to do is follow the instructions at the bottom of this page or just below the video Fill in your information and you can download a copy of Flip the Switch instantly and get started right away. It's a book that I've been humbled to see change millions of lives and I think it can change your life too. This is PJ McClure, the Mindset Maven, encouraging you to be your best.